Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, this is where we left it last time. Um, we've created those square holes here. Um, so I suppose this tutorial will find something to fill them up with and we'll make something else as well. Um, I think it's gonna take, not going to take very long. Um, I was going to have a reference image loaded up but I didn't. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create a little button looking thing to put in there. We'll use a primitive object and cylinder. Um, of course 50 for the radius is far too large. We want this down to around about 24 which will give us a diameter of 48 which will fit in our 50 meter holes. Um, for the height we want it down to probably around 5 will do and we want it on the x-axis. Um, plus or minus doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, create the button shape on top. We'll just use a hemisphere uh, it's in the primitive menu and sphere and just change the type from standard to hemisphere radius to 20 and that's fine, we just need to get it on the correct axis um, let's just use the rotate tool Oops, and we'll shift it around 90 degrees to around there, um, we should have something about like that um, so that was none too difficult, we'll just group those together on a null object and we'll come out and drag that into place of where we want it. And if you come down to zoom in, you should be able to get it roughly in your hole. There we go, just bring that up, centre that as near as you can um, just like that um, so once you got that in place we can copy and paste, we can drag it down to fill up our other hole which is somewhere down here like so, and that'll look alright once we get a material on that um, so we'll copy and paste that one again and this time if you select your modelling tool you can flip it on your z-axis over to the other arm of your model by adding or subtracting the minus sign and once it's over there it should be roughly in place all you need to do is spin it to 180 degrees again so round to there and you can copy and paste it again and drag it up to fill up the other hole um, so that wasn't very difficult or exciting there uh, give it a quick render, see how it looks and that's roughly what we're after um, that circle part will come out a bit more once we get a material on it um, so let's look at making the bolt hole on here um, that's fairly easy to do as well uh, it's quite a complicated shape, but we can make it easily. We'll do it in a new document so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, so open up a new document and we'll use a cylinder, I suppose, for this. Um, for this we want a radius of probably around 40 meters. Um, a height of around 5 and 36 for the rotation segments is fine, we'll jump in here so we can see what we're doing, um, but want a selection of four polygons round so we want four groups of four, um, the lines here run through the middle so you can see where they are so just make your cylinder editable and we'll go one, two, three, four oops one, two turn your arrows off three four like so. Uh, I don't quite know what I was doing that first time there. I'm um, thinking one step ahead all the time. And delete those ones there. Um, I'll screw my selection tool to the radius down because it's annoying me. And I still can't use it so four there as well. And four over here. From here we want to give that a little extrude out. Um, out there will give us the shape we want. I should have had the image loaded so you can see what we're making. Um, but I didn't. Uh, 
now what we're going to do is go through and select these four edges we've extruded. We have to do them one at a time. And you want to take the smallest measurement on there and reset that to zero, which flattens off the edge. And so we'll do that on all four of these. And adjust like that. Okay, and that's given us the basic shape we want. Um, from here, we want to go into edge mode and make a loop selection, uh, which I'll find somewhere up there. We want that whole outer edge like that selected. And from there, we're going to go to Structure Minute, Edit Spline, Edge to Spline. Um, we can drag our spline out of the cylinder, and we can delete our cylinder. And from here, we want to prop this into a extrude nerb. Um, as you can see, it's going in the wrong direction at the moment. Um, so go to your nerb settings. Under Object, take the movement out of there. Um, by default it goes along the z-axis, we want it in the y-axis. Um, probably a depth of 5 will do us. And you notice we've got a solid object, we actually just want the sort of outside shape. So to change that we'll go to the caps menu, uh, we'll turn off the end cap, and for a start cap we'll have a fillet cap. Um, 5 steps will give us a nice sort of rounded look for what we want. Uh, radius of 5. Uh, that looks okay to me. Um, that's created the basic shape of what we want. Um, so we'll copy that and we'll switch back to our tutorial robot and we'll paste that in. Um, you can see it's up there, it's on the wrong axis at the moment. So we'll give that a rotate round. no idea which direction it's facing. Um, you'll see on our object we've got a flat end and a sort of rounded end. We want the rounded end towards the outside. Um, so we'll come back and we'll bring that along and that's going to come out and sit in the middle of this hole we've created here. If yours is a bit large you can scale it down. Um, if it's a bit small, you can scale it up. Um, should sit roughly in the middle there, like so. Um, doesn't look very exciting at the moment. Uh, if you render it, it, still won't look very exciting. Um, so it's the sort of same colour as that background there, but once you get a material on here, it should give us roughly what we're after. And of course we have to duplicate that and pop it on the other arm, so let's copy and paste again. Um, select the modeling axis tool and pop in a minus sign or take the minus sign away to get it to a slip down to your other arm. And rotate it again 180 degrees to get it in place. Um, that'll about end this tutorial I think. Um, next time I'll start up and I'll show you the reference image to show you that that was what we wanted. and. I suppose I'll move on to something else.